This is Robert King, owner of Harmony Homes Residential Assisted Living Facility and founder of Assisted Living University. And I'm coming to you today for our training on the road. I'm in Santa Clara, somewhere in California, and I just had an incredible four day training with about 800 other entrepreneurs. And the subject matter kept coming up that I actually felt that I need to address with you today. And that's the subject matter of fear. People really want to get involved in business. And I know you want to own your own assisted living facility so that you can control your own destiny, have freedom through entrepreneurship. But fear keeps raising its ugly head. Well, let me help you redefine what fear really is. Fear really is your friend. I know you think I'm crazy, but let me explain that. Fear came about when you were a little child. And for me, it was, I was afraid of the dark. And so every time the darks went out, the lights went out, mom told me to go to bed, I was afraid that the big bad wolf was going to come out the closet from under the bed. And that fear stayed with me. So here's how fear becomes your friend. Fear tries to comfort you and keep you safe. And that's why fear comes up. Every time you try to go outside of your comfort zone, fear grabs you because fear's job is to keep you safe. That's where fear comes from. So now what you have to learn how to do is embrace fear and know that if fear is raising his ugly head, that's because you're about to do something outside of your comfort zone. You say, well, how do I handle this? Because you know they say fear, false evidence appearing real. I don't believe that because it's not false evidence. It's real when you're afraid to do something, afraid to step out, afraid to go into a certain business opportunity. That stuff is real. So it's not false evidence, but here's how you deal with it. You first know that fear is raising its ugly head because it's time for you to do something. The next step you do is you take fear with you wherever you're going. And you talk to fear because it's your job to move fear from his comfort zone. Give you an example, okay? You're going from the kindergarten to the first grade. You're afraid. All them kids are so big. Well, you talk to fear and say, come on, fear, we can do this. And the moment you transition from kindergarten to the first grade, now fear has just been elevated. So now fear is no longer afraid of you being in the first grade. So fear says, you good, as long as you go to the first grade, we good, we ain't got no problem. But the moment you try to go to the second grade, then fear raises its ugly head again. Why? Because fear has never been there. So now fear has to be elevated to the next level with you. So you think about joining a business, you think about getting involved in the assisted living business, and you have fear raising its ugly head, Embrace that. Bring fear with you to the system in the university. Bring fear with you when you tour Harmony Homes. Talk to fear and tell fear, oh, we gonna do this. And then when you transition to your next level, then fear is rewarded. So I changed the acronym from fear. It's no longer false evidence appearing real. It is now faith elevated and rewarded. That's what fear is. So listen, hey, I, felt, I hope that helped you today. I'm on the road, headed to the airport. I got this young man holding the camera for me, man. We just doing things prompt to here in Santa Clara, Marriott, somewhere in the world. Listen, thanks for listening, man. I appreciate you. Make sure you go to alfownership.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give me your email address so I won't miss, you won't miss any of these videos. And today, I just wanted to talk to you. No blackboard, no training, no technical stuff. I just wanted to speak to your heart and tell you that fear is okay. Fear is good. Just bring it with you to your next business opportunity. Again, this is Robert King, owner of Harmony Homes. Thanks for talking to me. I'll see you next week.